Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica, I'm doing our next 10 days readings. Uh, this is going to be for Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If you're cross-watching, you can get a message. Take what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit. If it doesn't make sense, it's just not your reading. What's your other placements? Your messages could be there. And you also have a Pisces only channel, Pisces Tarot and Advice, linked in the description box below. So you might want to check that out as well. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for Pisces in the next 7 to 10 days from whenever it is that you're watching this video for Pisces. Next 7 to 10 days for Pisces. Okay, so let's see what we have going on. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. And we're just going to get started. Eight of Swords. Either you're keeping yourself um, a bit stuck or... Uh, you're overthinking a situation or the other source could be something where you you don't see something coming because you're focused somewhere else let's see current situation we have the queen of swords let me flip all the cards over with the challenge the seven of wands having your guard up seven of swords in the foundation because you're dealing with someone who's a liar a manipulator in the recent past we have the ace of wands new beginning on the mind the four of wands home family stability harmony near future we have the sun some sort of victory heist yourself we have the hermit virgo energy in your environment we have the empress taurus libra energy hopes and fears we have the five of cups and in the outcome we have the emperor so the counterpart to the empress interesting Okay, so let's see what's going on for Pisces. Um, I want to clarify the Seven of Swords in the foundation. Six of Swords. Okay. There's something where... Something has been unclear something has been unclear under the eight of swords we have the six of wands something has been unclear to the point where you walked away you gave up eight of swords it's like okay it's never gonna happen there there has been some sort of new idea new inspiration some sort of new beginning they got you all excited again. You have a couple of sevens and you also have the sun here with the seven of swords telling me that something is going to be revealed uh, to you. Something that was previously hidden and it could be to do with a, a transition of sorts, uh, something that was in progress, something that wasn't yet ready, but no one told you that it wasn't ready so you were left guessing. Did we do something similar for you last time? Did we have a similar message for you last time? Can't remember. So with the challenge, you felt blocked or you felt like you had to put your foot down and cut something out, detach from something or someone. Because I'm not, I, that's why I wanted to clarify the Seven of Swords. It's not necessarily that someone was intentionally manipulating, lying, cheating, stealing, or whatever. It's a case of something was being tiptoed around but not addressed. Okay? We sat with that elephant in the room forever. It was part of the furniture. No one even addressed it. No one even acknowledged it. Right? Just kind of tiptoeing around the topic. Tiptoeing around the situation. Someone was doing this, you allowed them to do this. It's because to you it was a case of I'm not sure what's going on, so I don't know how to act. Right? I don't want to bite someone's head off because I don't actually have any sort of proof that they're doing something wrong. It it just bothers me that I don't know what's going on, right? It's that kind of a situation. Um it, it has been very frustrating. It can be to do with a, a new job, a promotion a new relationship, 
something to do with the family and restoring harmony within the family, a new home. It could be a case of communication, you just kept missing each other in terms of communication and it felt like you're playing tag or it felt like you're playing catch up and then this person's never available, this person's never, never around or you never get answers or you never get your questions addressed or acknowledged, let alone answered. So it's been frustrating, but I feel like recently something happened with the Ace of Wands where there was something new happened, okay? Something new happened. And in the near future here, there's going to be some a sense of victory, a sense of clarity, a sense of truth being spoken. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, now I know. And it actually makes you happy. I feel like it's good news coming your way on top of an explanation, right? So it's like, this is what we want to offer you. This is why there have been delays up, in the, up until this point, right? I want to take you out. I haven't been able to do so. I've been meaning to do so for forever. I haven't been able to because I was in the process of healing or leaving a different connection or there was a lot going on in my life and I had to f focus on that. Because how you see yourself, we have the hermit. You see yourself as looking for answers. Like I'm not quite sure what's going on here. And I feel like you went round and round when it comes to this situation and you never got answers. So you told yourself, you know what? can't be doing this anymore queen of swords never mind don't hurt yourself don't ask don't answer my questions just forget about it right in your environment we have the empress the empress with the emperor on the board here this is to do with a good match for you a true match for you whether that is in a romantic sense or the perfect business collaborator or the perfect job for you the per perfect career path for you um, you and something or someone else, okay, that's a very good match. And in your environment, what's coming in is love and or abundance that you don't see coming. In hopes and fears with the Five of Cups, it's almost like you're afraid to get your hopes about the hopes up about this again because for the longest time you kept you know waiting and being open to it and you were never getting answers and you were never getting acknowledged um you felt slighted you felt dismissed you felt very discouraged it's almost like you felt like you lost something before you even had a chance to get off the ground you felt like you had to release it sacrifice it walk away from it but you did recognize that it was a good match for you, which is why you tried to be patient. You tried to hold on. You tried to figure out what was happening for so long. But in the outcome, it looks like someone is taking action, making things very clear. This is someone very focused, very determined. Now, this is someone who knows what they want. They won't, they won't really take no for an answer. I really feel like, Pisces, you were... And I feel like it's to do with this Mercury retrograde and the Taurus energy that we're experiencing and what Saturn is doing in our chart. Because it's almost like something came in before it was ready. And it was frustrating because it, it would not come together. And so you were thinking, why, why was this presented to me, offered to me, brought into my life if it's not ready for me? What am I supposed to do with it? You know, is this a test? Is this a lesson? Am I supposed to wait for it? Am I supposed to be patient? What am I supposed to learn? What am I supposed to do here? And in the end, it got so frustrating. Nothing really happened in the outside world in the 3D. But for you, mentally, emotionally, you were like, I can't. I'm drained. I can't be doing this anymore, right? So what is this sun about in the near future for Pisces? The world, the Three of Pentacles, the Tower. Yeah, definitely. Someone is going to be... It's a very unexpected communication with the Sun. I can tell you that with the Tower. And someone's going to tell you that they are now free, available, single. And they want to collaborate with you, work with you, team up with you, take you out, do things together. Okay, and it's taking you by surprise because it's almost like... You have no idea. I feel like you kind of intuited what was going on but you didn't really know and so with the tower this is like okay that's what was happening yikes that's what you were dealing with yikes you know that's what was going on behind the scenes oh well now it makes sense 
you know and it's a case of i feel like i'm glad i didn't push it you know i'm glad i kind of left it alone to sort itself out i'm glad i didn't get involved in it before it was ready for me okay so this is could be like i say out of the blue they're offering you that job that you kind of heard about and then nothing else happened they're making that promotion official that you talked about and then it went nowhere you know you're someone's asking you out someone's telling you how they feel about you someone's telling you they choose you for whatever it is okay they want to work with you be with you collaborate team up whatever the case may be um and they're also kind of telling you why it took so long for this to come together and like i say i get a sense of well thank god i didn't push it thank god i didn't get involved you know because it would have the the chaos the the drama the confusion all of that that this other person or situation was dealing with would have just spread on to you and you would have just got engulfed in something where you would have hit the ground running and ran for the hills because it's like i don't even know what's going on here but it was a bit of a mess okay that this person was dealing with so what's going on in the outcome with that emperor there someone taking charge so we have the devil the magician and the ten of wands yeah so just clarification putting it all out on the table for you Someone has had a very difficult time and it took a long time for them to break free from a toxic pattern, toxic situation, something they were bound to. That Eight of Swords could have been their energy where it's almost like I really want to reach out to Pisces, but I can't. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. And it's the sense of not yet, not yet, not yet. I need to get rid of this person or this situation first. I need to get myself out of there first before I can start something new okay where i need to make sure i i am fully recovered and healed and in a stable place within myself before i start anything new okay because someone recognized your worth they recognized your value they recognized what you could be in their lives and it's almost like it got them into gear to make sure they're doing things properly okay get themselves unattached um from anything everything that was keeping them stuck bound uh, anything that was bringing drama and chaos in their lives so that when they come to you they don't come with baggage they don't bring the chaos okay and so that's what i feel has been going on and for those of you there's been a lot of office politics going on there's been a lot of even in the sense of corruption harvey sorry sorry oh for god's sake even a sense of corruption in, in the company, in the workplace, manipulation, playing games. And it's almost like you weren't aware of this. It was all done on the hush-hush to try to get rid of one person. And that also impacted you because that person had to sign off on, on what they wanted to offer you, for example. But that person was in the process of being get, gotten rid of. Does that make sense? But obviously they couldn't talk about it with you because it was all very confidential. So that's the feeling that I'm getting, okay? So you wanted something that thing person situation also was drawn to you but it's almost like you know when someone's worth making the effort you know when someone's worth doing things the right way and that's that's what this person did okay they saw you they recognized your worth their value and what you could be in their life or what you could do and be for the company or whatever the case may be so they recognized that if they came to you with any sort of baggage you would have turned them away you would have turned them down you wouldn't have gotten involved because you're stable within yourself you have peace and harmony within yourself so it's a case of why would i get involved in something that's so messy you know so they had to they wanted to they chose to clear their slate get rid of any sort of unhealthy attachments baggage people situations so that they can finally take action towards you from a stable place from a healthy place so that when they make you an offer or they extend an invitation to you or whatever the case may be if you say yes you can start building right away and start a new cycle together where you will build together and it will just keep growing as opposed to being start and stop and up and down and all over the place because of interference that they haven't got rid of when they should have does that make sense okay so that's kind of what i'm seeing for you pisces um so that feeling of <laughs> not yet not yet not yet um 
I think it's time now, okay? Someone's ready, someone's ready. And this could have been you as well, so read the roles as, as they fit. Um, either way, you've got something new starting in the next seven to 10 days. It's something big. There's a lot of major arcanas on the board. This is something big, and it would have taken, uh, taken a long time because other people's fates and destinies were linked to this, and everyone had to be in the right place at the right time, in the right way, in the right situation for this to come together the way it needed to come together. And it looks like that's what's happening, okay? So it could be towards the end of the Mercury retrograde. I don't know when that is exactly. Is it the 14th of May? I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but um, it's definitely towards the end of the period that we're looking at, okay? Because that's where it's all happening over there, okay? There's going to be an initial message of clarity that's gonna make you very happy, okay? But then you'll still be, I feel like it's a case of, I'm really happy and I'm excited about this with the Sun card, but I'm still waiting for you to take action and make it official. You know, I'm not gonna jump the gun. I'm not going to take charge and make this happen for you. You're getting confirmation of something or news of something that makes you happy and then it's like, okay, well, now you gotta make it official. So I'll celebrate when that happens. I'll see it when, when it's all official, clear, out in the open that's when I'll celebrate, okay, is that kind of an energy, which is good, it's healthy. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. Let me know what this is for you. If you resonate with the reading, comment and let me know. But uh, I hope the reading helps you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a long time, hasn't it? You know, you're waiting for this, and I'm in that boat with you, and exactly what this is for me. So yeah, we'll see. I'm in the same category of, okay, I kind of I see what this is, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wait until it's official, and then I can celebrate, right? So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.